William I, Prince of Orange, also widely known as William the Silent or William the Taciturn, or more commonly known as William of Orange, was the main leader of the Dutch revolt against the Spanish Habsburgs that set off the Eighty Years' War and resulted in the formal independence of the United Provinces in 1648. He was born in the House of Nassau as Count of Nassau-Dillenburg. He became Prince of Orange in 1544 and is thereby the founder of the branch House of Orange Nassau and the ancestor of the monarchy of the Netherlands. A wealthy nobleman, William originally served the Habsburgs as a member of the court of Margaret of Parma, governor of the Spanish Netherlands. Unhappy with the centralization of political power away from the local estates and with the Spanish persecution of Dutch Protestants, William joined the Dutch uprising and turned against his former masters. The most influential and politically capable of the rebels, he led the Dutch to several successes in the fight against the Spanish. Declared an outlaw by the Spanish king in 1580, he was assassinated by Balthazar Gerard in Delft in 1584. Early life William was born on 24 April 1533 in the castle of Dillenburg in the Duchy of Nassau in the Holy Roman Empire, now in Hesse, Germany. He was the eldest son of William, Count of Nassau, and Juliana of Stolberg Wernigerode, Road, and was raised a Lutheran. He had four younger brothers and seven younger sisters, John, Hermana, Louis, Maria, Anna, Elizabeth, Catherine, Juliana, Magdalene, Adolf and Henry. When his cousin, René of Chalon, Prince of Orange, died childless in 1544, the 11-year-old William inherited all Chalon's property, including the title Prince of Orange, on the condition that he receive a Roman Catholic education. This was the founding of the House of Orange Nassau. Besides Chalon's properties, he also inherited vast estates in the Low Countries. Because of his young age, the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V served as the regent of the Principality until William was fit to rule. William was sent to the Netherlands to receive the required education, first at the family's estate in Breda, later in Brussels under the supervision of Mary of Habsburg, the sister of Charles V and governor of the Habsburg Netherlands. In Brussels, he was taught foreign languages and received a military and diplomatic education under the direction of Champagny, brother of Granville. On 6 July 1551, he married Anna van Egmore den Buren, the wealthy heir to the lands of her father, and William gained the titles Lord of Egmond and Count of Buren. They had three children. Later that same year, William was appointed captain in the cavalry. Favoured by Charles V, he was rapidly promoted, and became commander of one of the emperor's armies at the age of 22. He was sent to Bayonne with an army by the emperor to take the city in a siege from the French. There is a plaque in Bayonne commemorating the French victory in 1523. He was made a member of the Raad van State, the highest political advisory council in the Netherlands. It was in November 1555, shortly after Charles had abdicated in favour of his son, Philip II of Spain that the gout-afflicted emperor leaned on William's shoulder during his abdication ceremony. His wife Anna died on 24 March 1558. Later, William had a brief relationship with Eva Ellen CX, leading to the birth of their illegitimate son, Justinus van Nassau. William officially recognized him and took responsibility for his education. Justinus would become an admiral in his later years. In 1559, Philip appointed William as the stadtholder of the provinces Holland, Zeeland and Utrecht, thereby greatly increasing his political power. A stadtholdership over Franche Comte followed in 1561, from politician to rebel. Although he never directly opposed the Spanish king, William soon became one of the most prominent members of the opposition in the Council of State. Together with Philip de Montmorency, Count of Horn, and La Morel, Count of Egmont, they were mainly seeking more political power for themselves against the de facto government of Count Berlaymont, Granville and Biglia Savita, but also for the Dutch nobility and, ostensibly, for the estates, and complained that too many Spaniards were involved in governing the Netherlands.
William was also dissatisfied with the increasing persecution of Protestants in the Netherlands. Brought up as a Lutheran and later a Catholic, William was very religious but was still a proponent of freedom of religion for all people. The activity of the Inquisition in the Netherlands, directed by Cardinal Granville Prime Minister to the new governor Margaret of Parma, increased opposition to Spanish rule among the then mostly Catholic population of the Netherlands. Lastly, the opposition wished to see an end to the presence of Spanish troops. According to the Apology, William's Letter of Justification, which was published and read to the States General in December 1580, his resolve to expel the Spaniards from the Netherlands had originated when, in the summer of 1559, he and the Duke of Alva had been sent to France as hostages for the proper fulfilment of the Treaty of Cateau Cambrasis following the Hispano-French War. During his stay in Paris, on a hunting trip to the Bois de Vincennes, King Henry II of France started to discuss with William a secret understanding between Philip II and himself which aimed at the violent extermination of Protestantism in France, the Netherlands and the entire Christian world. The understanding was being negotiated by Alva, and Henry had assumed, incorrectly, that William was aware of it. At the time, William did not contradict the king's assumption, but he had decided for himself that he would not allow the slaughter of so many honourable people, especially in the Netherlands, for which he felt a strong compassion. On 25 August 1561, William of Orange married for the second time. His new wife, Anna of Saxony, was described by contemporaries as self-absorbed, wick, assertive, and cruel, and it is generally assumed that William married her to gain more influence in Saxony, Hesse and the Palatinate. The couple had five children, up to 1564. Any criticism of governmental measures voiced by William and the other members of the opposition had ostensibly been directed at Granville. However, after the latter's departure early that year, William, who may have found increasing confidence in his alliance with the Protestant princes of Germany following his second marriage, began to openly criticize the king's anti-Protestant politics. In an iconic speech to the Council of State, William to the shock of his audience justified his conflict with Philip by saying that, even though he had decided for himself to keep to the Catholic faith, he could not agree that monarchs should rule over the souls of their subjects and take from them their freedom of belief and religion. In early 1565, a large group of lesser noblemen, including William's younger brother Louis, formed the Confederacy of Noblemen. On 5 April, they offered a petition to Margaret of Parma, requesting an end to the persecution of Protestants. From August to October 1566, a wave of iconoclasm spread through the Low Countries. Calvinists, Anabaptists, and Mennonites, angered by Catholic oppression and theologically opposed to the Catholic use of images of saints, destroyed statues in hundreds of churches and monasteries throughout the Netherlands. Following the Bielden storm, unrest in the Netherlands grew, and Margaret agreed to grant the wishes of the Confederacy provided the noblemen would help to restore order. She also allowed more important noblemen, including William of Orange, to assist the Confederacy. In late 1566 and early 1567, it became clear that she would not be allowed to fulfill her promises, and when several minor rebellions failed, many Calvinists and Lutherans fled the country. Following the announcement that Philip II, unhappy with the situation in the Netherlands, would dispatch his loyal general Fernando Álvarez de Toledo, Duke of Alba, to restore order, William laid down his functions and retreated to his native Nassau in April 1567. He had been involved with several of the rebellions. After his arrival in August 1567, Alba established the Council of Troubles to judge those involved in the rebellion and the iconoclasm. William was one of the 10,000 to be summoned before the council, but he failed to appear. He was subsequently declared an outlaw, and his properties were confiscated. As one of the most prominent and popular politicians of the Netherlands, William of Orange emerged as the leader of armed resistance. 
He financed the Waterjuzin, refugee Protestants who formed bands of corsairs and raided the coastal cities of the Netherlands. He also raised an army, consisting mostly of German mercenaries, to fight Alba on land. William allied with the French Huguenots, following the end of the Second Religious War in France when they had troops to spare. Led by his brother Louis, the army invaded the northern Netherlands in 1568. However the plan failed almost from the start. The Huguenots were defeated by French royal troops before they could invade, and a small force under Jean de Villers was captured within two days. Villers gave all the plans of the campaign to the Spanish following his capture. On 23 May, the army under the command of Louis won the Battle of Heiligerli in the northern province of Groningen against a Spanish army led by the Stadtholder of the northern provinces. Jean de Line, Duke of Aremberg. Aremberg was killed in the battle, as was William's brother Adolf. Alba counted by killing a number of convicted noblemen, and then by leading an expedition to Groningen. There, he annihilated Louis's forces on German territory in the Battle of Jemingen on 21 July, although Louis managed to escape. These two battles are now considered to be the start of the Eighty Years' War. War. In October 1568, William responded by leading a large army into Brabant, but Alba carefully avoided a decisive confrontation, expecting the army to fall apart quickly. As William advanced, disorder broke out in his army, and with winter approaching and money running out, William turned back. William made several more plans to invade in the next few years, but little came of them, since he lacked support and money. He remained popular with the public, in part through an extensive propaganda campaign conducted through pamphlets. One of his most important claims, with which he attempted to justify his actions, was that he was not fighting the rightful ruler of the land, the King of Spain, but only the inadequate rule of the foreign governors in the Netherlands, and the presence of foreign soldiers. On the 22nd of August 1571, his second wife Anna gave birth to a daughter, named Christina von Dietz, fathered by Jan Rubens. Best known as the father of painter Peter Paul Rubens, Jan Rubens had been sent by her uncle in 1570 to manage her finances. Later that year, William had this marriage legally dissolved on the grounds that Anna was insane. On 1 April 1572 a band of water Jusen captured the city of Brielle, which had been left unattended by the Spanish garrison. Contrary to their normal hit-and-run tactics, they occupied the town and claimed it for the prince by raising the Prince of Orange's flag above the city. This event was followed by other cities opening their gates for the war to Jusen, and soon most cities in Holland and Zeeland were in the hands of the rebels, notable exceptions being Amsterdam and Middelburg. The rebel cities then called a meeting of the Staten General and reinstated William as the Stadtholder of Holland and Zeeland. Concurrently, a rebel armies captured cities throughout the entire country, from Deventer to Mons. William himself then advanced with his own army and marched into several cities in the south, including Roermen and Leuven. William had counted on intervention from the Huguenots as well, but this plan was thwarted after the Saint Bartholomew's Day Massacre on 24 August, which signalled the start of a wave of violence against the Huguenots. After a successful Spanish attack on his army, William had to flee and he retreated to Enkhausen, in Holland. The Spanish then organized countermeasures and sacked several rebel cities, sometimes massacring their inhabitants, such as in Mechelen or Zetfeen. They had more trouble with the cities in Holland, where they took Harlem after seven months and a loss of 8,000 soldiers and they had to break off their siege of Alkmaar. In 1573, William joined the Calvinist Church. He appointed a Calvinist theologian, Jean Taffin, as his court preacher. Taffin was later joined by Pierre Lois Allure de Villiers, who also became an important political advisor to the prince. In 1574, William's armies won several minor battles, including several naval encounters. 
The Spanish, lead by Don Luis de Zuniga y Requesens since Philip replaced Alba in 1573, also had their successes. Their decisive victory in the Battle of Mucajeda in the southeast, on the Meuse embankment, on 14 April cost the lives of two of William's brothers, Louis and Henry. Requesens's armies also besieged the city of Leiden. They broke off their siege when nearby dikes were breached by the Dutch. William was very content with the victory, and established the University of Leiden, the first university in the northern provinces. William married for the third time on 24 April 1575 to Charlotte de Bourbon Montpensier, a former French nun, who was also popular with the public. They had six daughters. The marriage, which seems to have been a love match on both sides, was happy. After failed peace negotiations in Breda in 1575, the war continued. The situation improved for the rebels when Don Requesens died unexpectedly in March 1576, and a large group of Spanish soldiers, not having received their salary in months, mutinied in November of that year and unleashed the Spanish fury on the city of Antwerp a tremendous propaganda coup for the rebels. While the new governor, Don Juan of Austria, was en route, William of Orange got most of the provinces and cities to sign the pacification of Ghent, in which they declared themselves ready to fight for the expulsion of Spanish troops together. However, he failed to achieve unity in matters of religion. Catholic cities and provinces would not allow freedom for Calvinist. When Don Juan signed the Perpetual Edict in February 1577, promising to comply with the conditions of the pacification of Ghent, it seemed that the war had been decided in favor of the rebels. However, after Don Juan took the city of Namur in 1577, the uprising spread throughout the entire Netherlands. Don Juan attempted to negotiate peace, but the prince intentionally let the negotiations fail. On 24 September 1577, he made his triumphal entry in the capital Brussels. At the same time, Calvinist rebels grew more radical, and attempted to forbid Catholicism in areas under their control. William was opposed to this both for personal and political reasons. He desired freedom of religion, and he also needed the support of the less radical Protestants and Catholics to reach his political goals. On 6 January 1579, several southern provinces, unhappy with William's radical following, signed the Treaty of Arras, in which they agreed to accept their Catholic governor, Alessandro Farnes, Duke of Parma. Five northern provinces, later followed by most cities in Brabant and Flanders, then signed the Union of Utrecht on 23 January, confirming their unity. William was initially opposed to the Union, as he still hoped to unite all provinces. Nevertheless, he formally gave his support on 3 May. The Union of Utrecht would later become a de facto constitution, and would remain the only formal connection between the Dutch provinces until 1797. 